Jeff Holt from Longview, Wisconsin, 2001, Ram, called Ram Tough. Remember to throw it down to people, so let's get the market started.
Welcome everybody to Down and Dirty with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. Jason Schultz here with me, with you, with me. Wow, I'm talking in third person, Elsie, and that's a, that's a good start to the show. Hey. How are you, buddy? Yep. Hey, how are you? Are you tired? Yes, I am. It was a long weekend. <laughs> uh, if you, obviously, if you live under a rock, you don't realize that the Pulling for Hope event in Baraboo, Wisconsin at the Sot County Fairgrounds was a gigantic success again this past Saturday night. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this event, all the pullers, and Greg will get into all of this, but all the pullers pull for free. All their prize money gets donated back to the American Family Children's Hospital poll. And I know there was, um, I wasn't there. I was in Canada. Uh, I actually went to a poll in Manitoba, Canada Saturday night on my way home from our fishing trip with our family. But I was watching the old Facebook and keeping up with everything. We had some, um, obviously we were selling the new Badger State hoodies and t-shirts there as well. Um, just what a weekend, Greg. What a weekend. Just take over, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I it all really started out with the, uh, I really think the, hi the highlight was the Calcutta auction. I really do. We had some what, people. What class, what class did you do, Greg? We did the pro stocks. Okay. So a Calcutta, Greg, not everybody knows what a Calcutta is because I didn't know what a Calcutta was until I got involved with Badger State. Can you kind of give us the 30 second rundown so people know what that is? Well, you get, you, we put, uh, we put six tracks, we had six pro stocks there, uh, Friday night or Saturday night. And, uh, we put, uh, put them out in the track and you get to bid on which one you think is going to win, you know, and the first tractor went for $15,000 and I knew that was setting the setting up <laughs> setting the precedent right there, you know, and, uh, we had some good people step up to the, you know, block and really, really, you know, did a lot of good jobs. And I want to, I want to thank them guys. Uh, uh, Chris Feller, uh, Sussex machine, Sally Hartung. I really think she's part of the Hartung farms and, uh, and they also sponsor the poll. Hartung farms do. I, I don't know Sally, but I think that's where she's from. Deppy enterprises, Scott Zerzo from Gavin brothers, uh, Tom Holtz from Holtz farms. And Matt Gronskowski from Viking Village and uh, Baraboo all stepped up and really uh, the total Calcutta uh, pot was 54600 Wow. And if you'd have picked uh, Sally Hartung bought uh, Craig Ladwig's tractor and he won and she would have gotten half of that pot if she would have chose to take it. But she left it there. So, wow. That was great. That was a great start to the thing. And the, and the stands were pretty full. The pit area was packed. The pit yeah. area was packed, you know, and then it cost more to get into the pit area and people didn't care. They went in and didn't not, you know, never complained about a thing. Everybody paid it. Um, we had the family there giving their story and you could have heard a pin drop again. Well, that's true. You know, there's 3000 people there and you can hear a cell phone ring in the stands if it rings, uh, well, while these people sit, tell their stories, everybody sits there and respects it. The pullers all sit there, respect it or quiet. It's really a good thing. Yeah, it's like it's like church when somebody's the old the old lady's phone goes off in church and she's fumbling and it's the old flip phone. <laughs> so. Yep, yep, yep. And they shut it up. Yeah, yep. Uh, and then you know, getting back to the pull, uh, Randy, Randy Brew and Deppies, they built a track that was really a really good track for as dry as it is. It was hard to get done. Pat Hack helped them. Uh, they, they, uh, that was a track. It, it was a good track and everybody said it took, took power and a lot of front end weight. So, you know, you have a good one then. Yeah. You know, and that, gear. that tracks came, that track, that whole facility, Greg's came a long ways. I really feel like the Sauk County Fairgrounds, Surzel and the guys, I don't, I don't know, really know anybody else on the fair board other than Scott, but we don't with the double tracks and everything they've done to that facility to really honestly facilitate this type of a venue it's also good for their fair, which I know is in a couple weeks as well. So it's been good for everybody. It has been. And we, I i don't know the number of hooks, but I, it was well over a hundred hooks we ran. Yeah. Uh, and, and we were done. We started at six and we were done at, you know, between 10 and 1030, I would say, you know, awesome. I, you know, a hundred percent of the money is going there and we've got other sponsors that sponsor the, the poll. Uh, I don't have them in front of me right now, but um, they're all great. But I, I know the the title sponsor the is uh, Middleton Machine with uh, Mike uh, Everson, you know. So that's a you know, and I and I can't remember. I, I if I start the rest of them, I'll I'll, I'll miss somebody and I'll and I'll be mad. You yep, know? No, I understand. <laughs> I understand completely. Yeah, but, but it really uh, is. Um, what a way to kick off the season! And the weather was just perfect. 
And I, because I know Farley got rained out and then Ellsworth got rained out and you guys were able to get your poll in on Saturday night. That's, that's just awesome, Greg. Just awesome. Yeah. So I would like to get rain after the poll. I was just going to say, as you, as a gigantic farmer and having pro stock parts to pay for, you're like, come on, rain. That's just the thing about rain. Yeah, everybody's bummed out. Like half of my team was out in Ravenna, Nebraska, and they were dry as all hell out there, Greg, but they still, they just got poured on. So, I mean, it's sometimes, like you always joke about, you'll text me, hey, Jason, can you schedule a tractor pull in Richland Center? We need some rain over in Salt. Yep. <laughs> oh, shoot. Get after it, yeah. Yeah, but oh, no, it was a it was a good event, and I don't know if you have some more videos, but there was a lot of good runs and good tracks. Yeah. You know, really, it 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 was a super pull to watch. Things went fast. Uh, Josh was right on the money with uh, sled settings all night long. You know, he only missed one. <laughs> yours, he missed yours. I heard was that what I heard? Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it, it is what it is, right? Yeah, so it's tough. You know, we've picked up a little bit uh, since Louisville, you know, and it, and it was the first one he took this year, and and it was a really good track, and I got a hold of something, and, and we took it for a ride. Uh, so it was it was fun. I had a lot yeah. of fun. It is what it is. You know, that's, that's part of pulling. It is. You know, and there was only six tractors, so I couldn't really come back. No. You know, it, it, yeah, so it you was didn't hurt anything. You didn't hurt anything, though, did you? No. No, okay. it was uh, Filter was clean, uh, started up, drove on, everything was good. Okay, good. I had a few sparks out of the, out of the can because I, uh, we were adjusting the clutch minutes before we went up there. We thought we had it in the shop, and it wasn't right. And uh, I, my inspection plate was still off, so you had a few sparks escape. Well, that's, I just heard there were some sparks, and you didn't come back. I, but I knew you wouldn't come back with only six in the class, especially first hook of the season. Um, right. like that, but the, this is my favorite picture of the weekend. I think Brandon Johnson got this. That guy, I don't, not sure who that is, but he's just looking. <laughs> this has like a bajillion views on it this weekend. This this looks like a pro. This looks like Nevins' old pro stock or a pro farm pro, tractor. Pro farm. It was a pro farm tractor. I can't remember whose it was. We had um, a on, uh, to watch and 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 keep up with everything, you know. So it, oh, I know. But I just I, look at his look at his face. It's just glad. Like really, you're gonna take a picture of me, buddy, right now? Don't do that. So. Right. Hey, that's it. Say it's life. Now you're famous. Gotta yep. do something. Famous, right? Yep. Facebook famous. Facebook yeah. famous. So yeah. So it's all good. Um. But, yeah, I just I can't think of a better way to start the season for you guys and the Badger State tractor pullers and everybody to get going. Did you um any surprises like with vehicles? That, well, I mean, it's neat to see um. Kurt Hazley's old truck pulling with Badgers. I know Doug Muller had it, and he only got it out a couple times last year. Couldn't get the bounce out of it. Um, oh, shoot. I'm struggling for names right now. The Out of Illinois. I feel so bad. Um, uh, duh. I know who this is. I just saw Stalls. Stalls bought it, and uh, they named it Kurt, and they named it Kurt with a K. It's so funny because it's after Kurt Hazley, and I just think that's funny as hell, and they ended up getting the win. I think Troy drove it. I yeah. think Troy drove it. Um, or what? Troy or Todd or... One of the, yeah, Troy Richoff, one of their um, – he's out of Rochelle, Illinois, I believe. One of their crew guys helps out with everything. So Vicki Schultz says this is Drew Otto up there on there. So, yeah, that's just a, a great picture that uh, we captured. But there's a whole bunch of stuff. And this was neat, too. You know, I kept seeing the Facebook posts pop up all day. You guys had Car Rally cheese curds. And you had Sassy Cow Creamery. I mean, talk about – I mean, everything, Greg, from, from concessions to awesome truck and tractor pulling – and then uh, Budweiser, Jeff Cass from Wisconsin Distributor stepped up and I think sold these for a couple bucks and all the money went back to um, to the American Family Children's Hospital pool as well. So we had uh, He gave a couple hundred of them canned koozies and I think they ended up selling them all for two bucks a piece. Yep. Uh, and he gave us a, a pallet of beer, 50-30 packs and uh, $20 a ticket and they raffled it off and I don't remember who won it. Uh, and then... Uh, Sean Boyd brought, uh, I forget the name of the farm, brought some uh, bison burgers, patties, and a hundred dollar bill for second place in that raffle. So that it was, we had everybody just kept bringing us stuff, and people just wrote checks and didn't even, uh, you know, didn't just wrote checks to us. It was so cool. It was, yeah. you know, I told everybody at the drivers meeting about the challenge from Missouri, and they said we are not going to let them Missouri guys beat us. You know, so and I said it doesn't start till next year, but let's just set the bar high. They said so, and we did. We did. We yeah. will. We won't have our numbers in until December. You know how it works, Jason. Yep, I do. And I know they'll try hard down there in Paris. Um, 
Chad Richardson, those guys with the, their all oh, which children's hospital they benefit to down there. But I know they made a commitment. Chad called me a couple weeks ago, like a certain dollar amount. They're buying beds as well. But if you've never been to the Badger State Banquet, and uh, when Vic, uh, when Lori Schultz gets up there and talks about the American Family Children's Hospital poll and why we do what we do, uh, you're missing out on it. It's something that's um, out, out of this world, something out of this world. It is. I always have to get up there and talk right after the family story. You know, <laughs> that's unfair. Yep. And, and it's terrible. You know, I can't because I've, I've had tears in my eyes. Now I get choked up just thinking about it right now. You know, it's yep. terrible. You know, you think about it. I, I, I have to correct, catch myself from thinking about it too much. And I don't watch the video and I can't turn around and watch these big, tough guys with beards and mustaches and all these guys that are just meaner than hell all summer long and they're bawling their eyes out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, that's the you truth. I, I agree 1 million percent with you. So, yeah, it's one of the toughest things I do. I honestly, it is. And, and, and to see that and, and try, I can't look at them. I have to look up at the lights. I, you know, imagine them naked. Well, imagine them naked balling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. No, it's, it's, but, it's incredible. And it just, I guess, you know, people talk about the the pullers and their big hearts. That's it's just a great way, Greg, that people kind of come together with that, and that's that's a great showcase of it. It's been um, it's been amazing. It's been absolutely amazing. So yep, it has been. It, it we've been doing this twenty three years. I figured out. That's crazy. Um, and we used to do it for the, you know, St. Jude Children's Hospital, and then we kind of got approached for by some people from, uh, you know, the American Family Children's Hospital, and then we we. We ended up switching to them because honestly, when they when they were doing the the family was out there talking, I was looking around, and there was three kids I know and the few people standing out on that on the track that were in the children's hospital, and there's yeah. more in the pits, just in our club, you know. So, and I imagine the stands, how many people were there? And yeah. he said, "I'm doing this because my nephew was there. I'm doing this because my son was there or my daughter, you know." And and they come up and tell you that's why I'm buying a bidding on a tractor. I'm doing this. It's and they know when we raise that money, a hundred percent of it and more goes to the children's hospital. Yep. And that, not there's anything wrong with any charity at all, but sometimes, you know, you, you talk about like, you know, you'll hear rumors that all this money goes to the CEO and into some marketing campaign. And you know that this money's going right into Madison to, to people, like you said, helping, helping our local, helping our local community. There wasn't one person there. I don't care out of the 3000, Greg, there isn't one person there that doesn't know somebody who's had a child in um, an American family children's hospital pool. There isn't, right. I guarantee you, it went through there. And, you know, maybe they, everybody knows somebody kind of in that thing. And that's why it's, that's why it's awesome. I mean, and, and pullers do this, as you know, nobody does this for money anyway, but right. you know, you do, you know, they give up everything. I mean, it's a huge. And then by the time that, that Calcutta, I never knew what a Calcutta was until you guys did one years ago. Hell, I remember when, Dennis Fry's dad, and that's a long time ago when we did the light limited super stocks and at, at the old uh, fireman's park there. Is that what it was in Sock where we used to do it? Yep, yep, yep. F and uh, I park. You ran up to me and said, I don't want to do this. Schultz, you just handed me a microphone. And I was like, okay, here we go. But I don't remember Dennis's dad's name, Dennis and Danny's dad's name, but he's wow. okay. Yep. But you know, it wasn't 15 grand, but it was like five or 10 grand. I remember a couple times. It was huge. And that well, Calcutta, first, I mean, that's real money. The, the first time we did it, we raised five thousand dollars, and we thought we knocked it out of the park. Yeah, the point where if we don't get at least a hundred thousand dollars a year, we're we're not happy with it. I, I'm right. happy. With it. Well, even when it rained last year, by the time it was all said and done, we had one hundred thirty thousand dollars. You know, yeah. it, it, well, and the, and the fact that you guys were able to fight through the rain last year—that's with everybody. Because this year, because on Friday there was like an eighty percent chance of rain on Saturday. You know, because yep. everybody's got the apps now on their phone. And then Saturday, everybody wakes up and it's a 20% chance of rain. But the fact that you did fight through it and you did scrape the track and put that event on last year. I mean, I got a lot of text messages like, hey, is the poll still going to happen in Baraboo? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Last year, they just scraped the track and away they went. And I know that's not always possible. But, you know, if the rain can stop. I mean, it's funny the messages you get on social media from fans. What happens if it rains during the poll? We can't pull in the rain, guys. But if it's not raining during the poll, a lot of times, and the, and the pits aren't completely trashed, um, we, we can, you know, make something happen like this uh, to pull it off, you know. And that's, that's again, that's what makes it great. 
So yeah. we always want it anywhere as we go. We do our best to make the pull happen. You know, there's just sometimes you know it just can't happen. Yep, <laughs> been there. Richland Center is a great example of not happening. We had the worst Multiple, time anybody. Multiple years in a row. Multiple yeah. years in a row. But that's okay. That's okay. It's all good. God doesn't want me to have tractor pulls in Richland Center. It's all good. I I, I respect that now. <laughs> it's all good. But um, great video that Ryan Zolik put together. Um, I saw, well, we got some videos out. Beer Money Pulling Team has some videos out. Hill, uh, Jonah Hill, Hills Productions got some videos out. Brandon Johnson's got some videos out on the Badger State page as well. So just honestly, guys, just go to Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or YouTube and just type in Pulling for Hope or Badger State Tractor Pullers or anything like that, and you can see a lot of a lot of great videos um, of this event. So, again, if you're just joining us, Greg Elstein, president of the Badger State Tractor Pullers. John Stranley's in uh, Madison with his wife at the hospital. We're all praying for the Stranley family as well as Kristen continues to have her ridiculously tough fight with cancer. I feel like it's been it's been going on for over 10 years now, I feel like, for sure. And they continue just to fight. And that She has to be the toughest girl, woman in the world um, to keep fighting like she has been with this cancer deal. So shout out to her, to her and her whole family. Normally, John would be on with us every Monday night as well. Um, but pulling season started, Greg. I know I feel like three or four months ago, it always goes so fast. I, I don't know if time just goes faster as we get older, Elsie, or but I just, it I just def- like, believe how fast time's going these days. It definitely does. You know, you know how fast it goes. The whole pulling thing is gone. And I see kids that I see were born while we were at tractor pull, and now they're driving tractors, and some of them are getting married and have kids already. You know, it's just crazy. Yeah, it is. You know, it really, really is. Second year, I believe, or 31st year, something like that. Yep. If anybody has any questions for Greg, please type them in the comments. Uh, we want to know what you thought of the poll Saturday night in Baraboo. And then we want to know if you're heading to Macville this weekend. Macville is one of the biggest polls in the state of Wisconsin. It's up there in that northeast corner of the state of Wisconsin. Roger Baum and the whole church up there, St. Edward's Parish, amazing promoters. Um, Macville means a lot to me and Greg specifically because uh, Greg Greg is the reason we have uh, Badger State and PPL into that event. I drug him up there and – we sat down at one of my Mexican restaurants years ago <laughs> at Pancheros. We had a burrito, and I took you out to the meeting to meet Renee Grody and all those guys and talked about the importance of that event. And, oh, is it oh, – let me think here. Uh, Glenn Bartles yep. really helped. He's a promoter in Oshkosh. And after you left the meeting that night, Greg, um, Renee and Roger and them called Glenn down in Oshkosh, you know, because this had been a, obviously another association's poll for many, many years. And uh, – he was he really helped them turn the corner because the room was pretty split about staying with their current association and turn this into a uh, a Badger State event and then that's right when um, PP, uh, PPL bought out uh, ATPA and they came in uh, Forrest Lucas threw some big money into some classes and we were able to bring the big mods in and a couple big classes with some Badger State classes and the freaking crowd that they get up there um, and there's good polling in Northeast Wisconsin but. I mean, we're at 30 miles from Green Bay. You're right outside of Appleton, uh, Oshkosh. There's hundreds of thousands of people up in that in that Fox River Valley, and they absolutely packed the stands Friday and Saturday. And then, I mean, and Roger and that whole team up there, Greg, as you know, they don't just do. I mean, the big polls Friday night and Saturday night, but hell, they have garden tractor polls and RC polls and farm polls Sunday. I mean, they just it's it's a legit celebration for four days. So it, yeah, I I I love that that pull up there and it's it for me it's like the rush is over from spring tillage planting to first crop hay to getting the benefit pulled done and all of a sudden you're there you know you sit around with some of your best friends you've made in pulling for the day and uh enjoy yourself and you pull at night and and it and i've i've had a lot of people tell me that you know so i, I really appreciate how that is run you know, they feed all the meals for the pullers and they've got great cheeseburgers up there. I must eat 15 of them every time I'm there. <laughs> That's where you and I had our first marshmallow challenge and you beat me with the marshmallows. All right. I, who who just, I had a bigger mouth than you? <laughs> you were getting lippy about something and somebody called me a big mouth and you said, oh, I got a bigger mouth than Schultz. And yeah, we're, we're going to do that again. We're going to put that on TikTok, Kelsey. We need a viral video, you and I stuffing marshmallows in our mouth. So at least 10, 15 years ago, right? Well, yeah. At least at least long, long time ago. So a long, long time ago, but I got the, got the Macville poster right up there on the screen. Um, again, the, the big show is Friday night and Saturday night. And it's, so champions tour um, pro pulling league is the four by four mods, the light, no, um, 
Let me think. Is it the, the Unlimited Supers? There's Jeff Hurt's tractor on there. I know there's a couple Champion Stewart classes. Yeah, yeah, Unlimited Super Stocks. And then uh, then there's some Silver Series as well, right? I know the Light Pros are Silver Series, right, Greg? Yep, that, and that's, I think that's the only time you're going to see those guys. Uh, the Foresters are coming up from Pennsylvania. Yep. Even uh, they're bringing a whole bunch of people with them because Roger works with them guys, and Rogers has, is building a light pro too. And I, I think he's he's right. made cast for all them guys for the yep. Ford, build the cranks for them. Yep. No, no, he's well, he's really tied into the, especially that Ford community. The Baums are, um, yeah. And Rogers and his entire the Baum family, Baum, Baum machine up there. Again, that's just a great event, you guys. If you haven't been to Maxville, um, head that way if you can this weekend. It's a heck of a good pull. And and cool. I'm telling you, the beer tent and the bands they have in that beer tent on Friday and Saturday night are as good as you're going to see anywhere. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. They have a lot of games in there where you can win cases of beer. The kids all in there and have a great, great time. Yep. Oh, it was good to see that they let the best Gallops driver drive the winning tractor Saturday night up there at the in Baraboo. Kathy got right. the win up there. So Tom right. and... You know, they let Kathy out for the big events. You know what I'm saying, Greg? Maybe she should have drove it in Louisville. So I, I hope, yeah. I hope they were watching her drive, how she did that. Yep. <laughs> My boy, watch. <laughs> oh, no. If you don't know, if you don't know, we're just picking on the, the Tom Gallitz because there is nobody more fun to pick on in the entire world than Tom Gallitz. I love, I love making him squirm. Love making him squirm. It's one of my favorite things to do. So, no, and she made a beautiful pass there. Uh, yes, she did. It was perfect. That right? um, somebody said, I feel we made more donations this year for the Children's Hospital. They're watching on one of the Facebook groups. We're live on eight different pages in YouTube and Facebook right now, so not all the names come through, but I'll go check to see who made that, Colin. Colin Burkholz, Light Pro Stocks. So this is the first time we'll get to see the – I don't know how many component Light Pro chassis Light Pros are out this year, but this will be the first time we're kind of mixing them together with PPL – and Badger State. I know they're gonna. It's gonna happen in Freeport. I talked to Jeff Becker this morning about promoting Freeport um, a little bit more. Um, I think there's a few. Other, what would be the, probably Hillsboro? Are there light pros in Hillsboro, uh, Greg? I don't remember. I don't know. I, yeah. Can I step away for twenty seconds, Jason? Yeah. I got food on the grill. I have to flip. Yep. No problem. So, <laughs> Greg's gonna go flip. Is he's either gonna go take a leak or he's gonna go flip the steaks. It doesn't matter. Uh, Kevin Shell says 150 half barrels a night. That must be up in Macville, I'm assuming. But uh, the, the beer tent, you guys, is as long as the it's like half the track on the one side. It's a great, great time. So, and like I said, there's really <clears throat> I don't know if there's any other really gigantic big pulls up in that area with this level. I mean, when you bring in the champions tour, you're gonna see unlimited supers like Jeff Hertz running bear that you see there on the screen, as well as the um, I'm trying to think. As the four by four pro mod trucks will be up there as well. Are they bringing the big minis up there? Are those the part of the Tri County? I'll have to ask Greg when he comes back on that. And then they mix it up a couple, like one night's four ones, one night's pro stocks. Looks like Super Farms are Friday night, pro stocks are Saturday night, limited pros are Saturday night. The poll starts at six o'clock on Saturday and seven o'clock on Friday. And it, uh, pretty good to, to see all that. The mini rods, are those the Tri County mini rods that are up there? Or is that yeah. the. Okay. Yes, they are. Gotcha. So pro stock diesel trucks both nights. That's three six. Again, um, that's a really class is awesome with Badger State. They put the cut tires on now, probably five or six years ago now, and those guys are running mean. Two wheel drive trucks. You saw Willie Deppy and Old School get the win there Saturday night in Baraboo, his hometown pole. And then so that's Badger State, Badger State. Now we go unlimited super stock tractors. That's Champions Tour. Light Pro Stock. That's a Silver Series Badger State. 4x4 four four Pro Mod Trucks, that is going to be a uh, Champions Tour class. And then blowing Mini Rods of Tri-County. And then Friday night only a Super Farm. And then Saturday nights only are the Badger State Pro Stocks and the Badger State 4-1. So it's good to good to see that again. So if, you, if you've been to Macville, please type it in the comments. If you're going to Macville for the first time or, you know, I, I'll put all the comments up on the screen, questions, different things like that. If you got any questions for Greg, as this, you know, as we're just getting rolling into the schedule here, it's going to be one heck of a good season. It's going to get going really, really fast now. Now it's like every single weekend. Craig Gladwig, you better be there picking up his the first Badger State win of the year with the never given up fent there. I showed that video a little bit ago. Um, that tractor, Greg, I love your T8, but that fent is pretty sexy. I'm not going to lie. I'm it not going to lie. It is. It was fun uh, this winter before Louisville. We were, we, 
wild milk shop and, and the different colors. I think we had five different colors in that shop that night, all going to Louisville. Yeah. It was really cool. And if we get, you know, we get uh, Mike Everson's waiting on a billet block. Uh, Chris Feller's kind of rough doing the machine work on it. And we knew we need to go down and we're going to do a show and show there. He's building five Perkins blocks and three 3208 cat blocks billet, Chris is. That's going to change the game. It is. It is. For them guys, I mean, they need it. They, yeah. They, you know, so. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, we've all got them. The V8s are hard. They, you know, they, they got to run a lot of RPMs to, to compensate because they, they don't make the torque of 600 does. Right. You know, so it'll, it'll be fun to watch that. Oh, for sure. And, and pri- I mean, show it on the video here and let people see what goes into making one of them. Yeah. No, that'd be great. That'd be an amazing shop tour of, yep. of all time. So what I do is I can't be there for every step of it. So I, I'm going to ask Chris to video a few minutes step that they're doing so we can make the show out of it. And then I'll go down there uh, and uh, kind of do a show ending of it. I think I'm hoping that's my plan. Yep. And then this probably, this looks like a Zolik comment for those that can't be there in person. It'll be the first PPL live stream on flow racing. So yeah. Um, flow racing is a channel just dedicated to motorsports. And I think PPL has eight events on the, on the flow racing schedule this year. A couple of them are in Wisconsin. I'm sure Hillsboro's on here as well, but I know Macville's on there as well. So that's a great chance for those of you that can't be there, head over to Flow Racing and watch watch this awesome event this Friday night and Saturday night as well. Craig Gladwig says hopefully Carl Kahn comes out. Yep, that'd be great to have him out. Man, that would add color. And, and oh. I know there's uh, talk of another color tractor coming out in Badger State too. So You're yeah. out of colors though, Art Greg. It's it's almost like the light limited Superstock class now. I, I think it's even better. I mean, with the color thing, with where they, things are going, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's yeah. really, really cool. Yep, yep. So, but, you know, I don't know. I, Macville, and then uh, we have show Pier the weekend. Uh, it's Toma weekend kind of on top of them. We really, I usually don't like to do that, but, you know, uh, Trip Downing's got his pull. Yep. Down there, and uh, he supports Badger State, and that's the weekend his hometown pull is. And he does, he's a, a, one of our show sponsors here. Yep. And, he comes, he makes every Badger State pull that he can. And he makes them all unless he's broke. And uh, you have to support the local guys that, that support yeah. you. Stuff. Well, and Toma, listen, Toma is a big pull, but it, not everybody in the state of Wisconsin goes to Toma. And Northern right. Illinois can support this as well. So, you know, the show pure days, as, as I've heard about it for a long time. And then when these fans get to see Badger State, and they've had some smaller associations in there in the past that put on a good show, Greg. But when you bring in Badger State, that's taking it to the next level for them. You know what I mean? So right, the guys, there on uh, Friday night, and I, I think what I, the story I heard was happening is anybody that if they pull their both nights, they're going to keep track of total distance, kind of like they did at the Pulse Hour poll, and yep. got an extra thousand bucks for who's got the biggest distance in Super Farm. Cool. I think that don't hold me to it, but that's what I've heard is happening. It's a good rumor to start. We might as well start it. There's a lot of people watching tonight, so if you want to start any rumors tonight, Greg, just let me know. This is the way to do it. So. You know, make sure, yeah, let's make sure it happens. That's pretty cool to watch that. And, 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 and it, as a puller, it's fun to do that, you know? Yeah. Something like that. This is the super farm schedule that's up on the screen right now. Um, Ryan Zoic puts all these together for every class, all the hooks, but pulling for hope, obviously. And then um, show pier days this uh, two weeks from, well, basically two weeks from Saturday, it would be then tobacco showdown Edgerton. So, you start to get some more into that southern. You know, we have a lot of a lot of pullers live in northern Illinois. You know, and uh, a lot of fans come from the you know northern Illinois as well to come up and watch the Badger State pulls, Greg. So we do have a lot of fans and pullers from northern Illinois. You know, and everybody, you know, around. I've started people, all the Illinois people, about drivers around here saying, "No, that's Chicago." I know a lot of good people in Illinois. <laughs> Just start saying Chicago, not Illinois. You know, I I st- yeah, I always say there's two parts. There's two. There's two Illinois. There's Chicago, then the rest of it. So, <laughs> right, right. You know, the good thing is, you know, I, I believe in the history books. Uh, Wisconsin used to own Chicago, and we gave it back to Illinois. Yeah, if you, if you oh. look part of our state. <laughs> Here's your uh, here's the two wheel drive schedule for the season. Again, they'll be in Macville. Again, that's up right, Macville's right outside of Appleton, guys. Easy drive from anywhere. All the roads lead up there. You know, two four lane roads. It's good to be careful when you go through Rosendale, though, if you're coming from the south. Uh, they like to pull you over in Rosendale just to ticket. 
So you got to be careful with that. But uh, yep, yep. And uh, there's a lot more to do in Macville next week. You like that? Uh, the RC tractors they pull. It, it's actually pretty cool to go watch if you're standing around there to go do something. And I mean, uh, Whalen, I think Baum is kind of runs that a little bit. Yeah, he helps with the crew up there, Fox Valley uh, RC pullers. I actually just got a, a miniature remedy built. It's not quite done. But they were hoping to take it up there, but he kind of hangs out with that group. They're out of Fond du Lac, Greg. And okay. uh, I've gone up to a couple of their pulls, and it's uh, I can't drive a big tractor or an RC tractor. I, I wreck everything I drive. So <laughs> I actually got one built. looks just like my Remedy 4.1, and yeah. but I'm never going to drive it. I gave it to this kid, and I said, you just go try it. He's taking it to Bowling Green for me because I drove one once, and Drove it off the wood and jumped it up on the couch, and this guy's – oh, it was a hoot. <laughs> but Fox Valley RC Pullers, you can look them up on Facebook. They do a really cool, really cool job there. So Yeah. yeah. And they do a lot of other things, too. They do that dash for cash with the kids that, you know, if you got any – up to 12 or 13 years old maybe. Yeah. Groups 7, 8, 9, and 10 and above or something, and they throw $500 coins out there and, and halfway through the show – and uh, let all the kids sit around the tarps, and they just attack that and fill it. It's, yeah. pretty it's, a, it's an awesome um, – Do that, because they just they aren't as aggressive as the older ones. <laughs> It'd be fun sometime to get a bunch of bunch of adults after the pool and throw about $5 worth of quarters out there and put a bunch of baby oil on it. That'd be that, – I'm afraid somebody would get hurt. So Right. We'll start with you. Yeah, there you go. Um, Adam Stephen says, "Don't lump us. Don't lump us in with Chicago laugh out loud. We're not Adam. We're we're saying, yeah, no, we're saying that. So, no. Um, did Blaine Stamp sell his pro stock? Not yet. It's still waiting on parts. I'm pretty sure. Okay, because there's rumors that they sold it, and there's rumors it's not. You know how the pulling rumors are, but somebody was asking um, up here on the Facebook page. So it was for sale. It was for sale, but I haven't heard anything lately. I know he's a trailer and is." Uh, uh, Kubota, I think uh, Jason Rowan bought them. Okay. And uh, it's what I've heard. It's all, you know, secondhand. secondhand you know, oh, rumor. yep. Adam Stevens says he still has it. Cool. So he's just waiting on parts. So. Yep. That's, so. Yeah, I'm just flipping through all the comments, questions up here as well. Adam says should be ready soon. So. Good. Good. Blaine's a great competitor. I like to see him out there and running. Yep. So I'm just looking through the comments here, Greg. Give me a second. All right. I want to make sure I got everything up on the screen. How many classes did you have? Did you have eight classes Saturday night or did you have ten? Ten. I, so I know we used to run in we just used to run one track and sock for this. And then um we always had to be done by midnight and we get in trouble with the locals. We there's a noise ordinance, right? And then right. you said, I remember one year you said, man, Jason, we just can't have every class because it's just too much. And then I know we started breaking it up. Right. And then um, moved it to Baraboo. What? Has it been four years now in Baraboo? This was the third year. Third year. Okay. Uh, we moved it up there during COVID. I can tell the story because I was going to have it. And I text, emailed uh, somebody in the school and they decided they everybody was all ready to have it. Somebody from the school said, no, I don't think we should have it here because it could be a super spreader. So I was just done with that crap. So yep. we're going... Yeah. What's yeah. on the what do you what are you having for supper, Greg? Bacon wrapped chicken breast. Bacon wrap. Ooh, that sounds really good. You know, I could be to your house in about 45 minutes. So and shrimp. And sh Ooh, wow. It's not, I want to make sure I didn't burn that. So I think we gotta go check. <laughs> I understand. I've got somebody out there. We're good. You're good. I like it. Yep. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, yeah, if anybody has any other questions, I'm going to wrap up here with Greg in about the next five minutes or so. If you have any questions, comments about the Badger State season, about Baraboo, about Macville, anything like that, um, please let us know. Again, the big Mac, you know, the big Macville dates are June 16th and 17th, Friday night and Saturday night. But there's stuff going on Thursday night. There's stuff going on Sunday as well because you see that June 15th through the 18th. I think it's MacvilleNationals.com is the website. In fact, I'll go look, look for that right now. Thank even after the pool, they have the best bands you're ever going to hear in a beer tent anywhere there. It's so much fun to hang out there on Friday, Saturday night. It's crazy. Yeah, here it is, MacvilleNationals.com. I'll throw this in um, into the comments here for all of you. So you click on there. And go, there's that, that big, that's their big beer tent back there that Greg was talking about, that yellow right behind my face. Yeah, it's huge. Huge, tracks, huge crowds, huge crowds both nights. Um, just a hoot. 
one heck of a good pull. Um, all the proceeds, that's the big church, that church back there has all been paid for by this pull. It's, you know, the school, they, they just, they get it. It's a gigantic fundraiser for the church and they do an awesome job. And the support from the community up there is crazy. Yeah. You know, and, and, and the people that come around there and if the weather's good, it, it's, it knocks it out of the park. Yep. And again, we're on the Mac, the Macville Nationals website, MacvilleNationals.com. That it, again, it's in the comments, but that's playing behind Greg and I right now um, to do that. So, did Molitor? Who are the six pro stocks that were there Saturday night in Bear Blue? I haven't had a chance to look at all the results yet, Greg. Well, it, it was uh, Craig Ladwig, Brink Myers, Molitor, uh, Wildman's, and uh, there's Molitor. Six. you? I said myself. Yep. Ladwig. Oh, Randy Brew. Randy Brew. Tool times two. Yep. Yep. The track build. Yep. And he did a really good job. I know he doesn't watch this because he's got a flip phone. So I can't talk about him. He'll never hear about it. So, but he did a good job building the track. Him and Tim Deppy and Willie actually and Pat did a great job building it. You know, so. And it's hard. It's an art to do that, you know. And they had Gasser Brothers come in with a, a great big grater with a laser on it and rolled it back and forth and mixed it all in. And it, it turned out to be a good track. Very good nice. track. Nice. Love it, love it, love it. Yep. Well, I don't have much else, Greg. Can you think of much else we need to cover tonight? Nope. I think we're good. I just want to thank uh, Matt Caster, Trip Downing, Don Slama, and Ed Caster. Uh oh, Greg's um, Josh Wolfold's trying to call me right there. Okay, <laughs> I was like, maybe, maybe I thought maybe something happened on the grill again. We lost you for a second. No, no, no. But I want to thank them guys for stepping up and helping us uh, with the show here. That as sponsors, that is great. And we'll, you know, you know what it costs to drive around and do this stuff and the time it takes, and it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy insane, but it's fun. You know, you enjoy you enjoy the guys you're interviewing and. Uh, I've had fun. I've I've really had fun. In the winter, we're gonna do more of that. We still have one in the can yet, Chuck Gettenberg, I think. Yep. Right? Yep. That's a Chandler said. So. Yep. We got to get get his done, and I I'm gonna. I think it'd be a great update thing to do with them blocks and watch how they're made. Uh, oh yeah. Here and have Chris just talk. If I'm not there, I think Chris could just talk us through it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Grand Union County Fair Band Friday night and Ask Your Mother, very good rock band Saturday night. Are the bands up there? That's cool. So ask, ask Your Mother. That'd be a cool t shirt to have, yeah. Greg. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, that's a great name for a band, Ask Your Mother. Yep. <laughs> there's, a, there's a coffee shop uh, in Baraboo called Nautilus Coffee Company or something like that. I went there after a closing and they had t shirts in there, Coffee Hotter Than Your Mom or something like that. It was funny. <laughs> Man, that's a good thing. It's a good thing they don't let you and I design the sayings on the Badger State T-shirts. They'd be funny, but I don't. I only think about five percent of the people would buy them, so it's all good. Right. right. Well, I want to thank your crew for selling our shirts and stuff. Uh, yeah. I want to remind everybody that at the polls, you guys think you'll have probably more than half our polls. You'll have your trailer there, and you'll have our Badger State merchandise will be in your trailer. Yep. So we we teamed up with Badger State this year, and uh, whenever you see the beer money trailer at a Badger State event, you're going to see Badger State hoodies, T-shirts, and um, hats in there. And um, over half the sales were were just was just Badger State stuff, and and if you haven't seen the new designs, they look great. And then you can order online as well. Go to beermoneypullingteam.com, click on Beer Money Gear, and then we ship out orders as well. It will not be in Macville the trailer this weekend. I'll, we can get the, the the schedule published as well. And I honestly don't know the next Badger State event it'll be at. Doug and Hope handle all that stuff, Greg. But um, it was. We moved a lot of moved a lot of product. It was fun to see that, and, the, and I think it must have got a little chilly Saturday night because all of a sudden, about eight thirty, all the sweatshirt sales start ding 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 because I get a notification every time when there was a sale and uh, you know, hoodies out sold the t shirts like two to one. So they do. I, I when it is cool like that, we do sell a lot of hoodies and, and stuff. And yeah. hats, you know, everybody wants a hat. Which is yeah, they're cool, cool hats. Yep. Yeah, and then Gallants, they love the new shirts because their tractors on it. It's got um, it's got what. The their shirt, the Kloss Pro. Um, well, heck, I can just go find a picture of it. Give me a second here, quick. We got a couple yep. minutes left. Yep. But it's fun, and I think I think we're going to move a lot of having the trailer at the events, and then having it online. 
I think we're going to do a move a lot of uh, a lot of product, Greg, with the Badger State logos on it and stuff. So. Yeah, it's Funk's truck is on it, I think, right? Yeah, I think so. You're the champion from last year. Yep, yep. I know well, it's on I, here because and we both it. We had to mix it up a little bit. You couldn't put two red tractors on it, so it was you know what I mean, right? So we mixed it up a little bit, but people buy them yeah. anyway. They're cool. Yeah, here's the here's the picture I'm bringing up right now. So don't worry if you haven't got one yet. Um, we're gonna we're gonna, we'll get more inventory printed. So, yep. But that's kind of what it looks like there. The bottom underneath to the I'm trying to get that just to just quite right. Here I'll just do this. Yep. Hold on a second. Ah, that's not the one I want. That's not the one I want. Do you want me to show you how to do this? <laughs> yeah, we'll be here till tomorrow morning if you do this. <laughs> That's funny, Helsing. That was funny. I will take all of you, all I'll take all your advice except when it comes to social media or anything technology. I'll listen to you on anything but that. So but there's the there's the new shirts, guys. They look awesome. Oh man, I'm really struggling here. I'm trying to blow it up. All right. There we go. Yeah. But there's the new and that's on the hoodie and the t-shirt as well. And right. um again, once we get a good feel for sales and sizes, I think. Greg and Amy and everybody, they'll mix up maybe some colors and stuff like that as well. But that that's a hand-drawn design. The guy's out of Florida. I mean, it's legit. It's an awesome, awesome design. It's yeah. a cool, cool shirt hoodie. Yeah. So really, really proud of that. So and it's good quality material in the hoodies too. I mean, they last a while and, and that, that means yep. a lot. I buy one. Yep. So I know we're I know we're gonna try. Is there 20? How many badger shade hooks is there this year, Greg? 20? 26, 20. I think it's 28. Yeah, I can't remember exactly, but I know we're going to try to at least hit half of them with the trailer. We're so. going to have busy weeks talking about three or four in a week, you know, these couple of yeah. times. Yeah, it's going to get lot, nuts. A lot of video, which I think that's – everybody likes the videos of the winter. Yeah, right? no, no, video is really taken over, and I think everybody understands that now. And, you know, if you're if you're a puller or you're a spectator and you post a video on your personal timeline, just take – you know, use the at symbol and then just put Badger State Tractor Pullers. That sends our Facebook page a notification – then we can share it around so more people can see it. And it's always fun to tag the pullers in there as well. Um, a lot of the video guys that go to the polls are doing a really good job at that. I saw some, uh, that, is it Jonah Hill? I think that Hill Productions, he must have been in Baraboo, was tagging some yep. pulling teams. So yep. I saw a lot of good stuff out there as well um, from from Saturday night in Baraboo. So, yep. well, on behalf of the Down and Dirty crew, we're thanking a John uh, Stranley and Chris and Ross, hoping she continues to kick cancer in the ass. Uh, she's at UW right now. And who was all on the mic up there for you Saturday night? Uh, Chris did most of it, I think. All okay. Yep. I wasn't sure if John was able to get out of the hospital or not. So. No. And everybody watching this, I please pray for Kristen. Yep. Okay. Yep. Please, please, please. Um, yep. Yeah. That's all we can say. That's all I want to say. So. Yep. Okay. Mr. Elsing, thank you for everything that you do. Um, we'll probably have some, we'll have, you know, so the Monday night shows, guys, now moving forward, this is our first season doing this with Badger State. You know, the Monday night show is basically going to be a, you know, a event recap of the following weekend. Greg's going to bring some pullers on. And then we'll obviously, be, you know, have some promoters for the upcoming pulls that week as well. Um, during the season, then the off season is really going to be dedicated to what, to Greg and John's vision, these shop tours different things like that. But we get super busy in the summer. And tonight, just really wanted to to hammer on pulling for hope. Again, uh, shout out to the Calcutta. That, that that raised so much money. That's amazing that the people do it. And then they then they win, and then they give it back, Greg. You know, they're doing it for the right reason. That's yeah. awesome. They, so. The people, they want to donate to Soldier's Hospital, they'll do it through us because they know, it, it's a like we said, 100% of it goes there and more. Yep. yep. And I, I really want to invite all the people that bought our banquet to see – how it goes is kind of my next step in this. Yep. And the next year that I, I want to get these people invited. To right. See at our banquet because it's a big deal. You know, and then Chris Feller last year donating them tickets for uh, uh, <clears throat> the Bucks game. You know, and his, yeah, uh, he, there and he and he's told us I'll match whatever whatever they bring. I'll match. Well, Robbie Lemke and Jason Round got to bid and it went up to $13,600 or something like that. And then Jason or uh, uh, Chris matched it. Like you said, he followed through. He's a great supporter of our club. Yeah. There's a, there's different zip codes when you want to get into bidding wars. And the, when you say Jason Round and Robbie Lemke and Chris Feller, I don't want to be anywhere near that because uh, I'd have to get a second mortgage on my house to pay for that one. So well, my son Avery was bidding up 
a, a tractor and he went to take, he got the $10,000. He thought on one of them, he's one of the kids that bid these guys up. And I said, you know, you're, you're going to have to pay for this maybe. <laughs> well, they'll see family farms coming through. So yep, and Tom, Tom Holtz, uh, uh, got it, got it, got him off the hook. So <laughs> yeah, it's all good. So. Yeah, it always makes your blood pressure rise up a little bit there. So but it's fun, you know, and, and it, it's fun to see these young guys getting in there and getting involved in it too. That's what yep. we need. Yep. So, so, well, the Badger State season's underway. Macville, Wisconsin, this Friday, Saturday night, 7 p.m. Friday, 6 p.m. Saturday, MacvilleNationals.com. It's a great event. Um, if you're up in that area, go check it out. It's worth the drive. Plenty of hotels to stay at up there in that Fox River Valley, and plenty to do during the day as well. Like if you want to take the whole family up there and I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Appleton, Green Bay, go up to check out Lambeau Field, different things like that. So. Right. And, and if you're at the pole and you have a side by side, you can ride. They have their their roads. Some of the roads are open from the pole to go to different areas. Okay. Cool. Pretty cool too. Yep. Yeah. And then we're gonna have Roger on in about 45 minutes on Let's Grow Pulling too. So for those of you that want to check that out um, as well. So. All right. Cool. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next Monday at seven o'clock. Have a good night. Yep. Bye.